the Wolf of Charles Street, man. Yo. I just got this email from Feed Spot, right? Feed Spot. You know they, they you know they who I partnership with to get you know get my podcast out to all the streaming networks and stuff like that. You feel me? You know they you know you gotta you gotta have a partner, man. You gotta do business. But they sent me an email. And they said the Wolf of Charles Street featured in Feed by Top Fifteen Business Education Podcast. And you know you feel me like. I just want to say that to say this, like, first of all, I didn't even expect that joint. And it's also like, also the importance of like finding a niche. Like, when you're in, it's like so much podcasting going on right now, so many podcasting, podcasts popping up. Like, you really got to find a niche, you feel me? You got to find a specific like type topic type fan base and really like cultivate that fan base and really grow and it's been kind of like like, it's been kind of hard for me to kind of keep up with this because i've been doing so hard but like definitely like having a podcast you gotta be like consistent like you gotta be like it gotta be a full-time thing like i i know even like big podcasts that you, you feel me, that was going and, you know, kind of like, kind of like fell off, like, even ones that I like watching, like, um, I, I like the Donnell Rollins podcast, yo, funny as hell, but you feel me, it don't really be consistent like that, so, like, it happens to, even with the Carisha joint, Carisha joint was lit, but she ain't consistent, like, it's like, even, it don't matter if you small or big, like, consistency is the key and shit for real, but, um, I know, like, I just got so much other stuff I'm doing for real. Like, I know, like, I'm going to try to try to be more consistent with the podcast. Yeah, man. But just the fact that that niche, that little niche that I that I built, you feel me, as far as, like, just that business education, like, man, maybe if I was a hip-hop podcast, like, I probably wouldn't even be in, you know, that top. Because you know it's so much, it's so many hip hop. But I find a niche, and it's that that business education, man. You feel me? Because we got, we gotta bring business into the culture. You feel me? Like we gotta start understanding business. We gotta start knowing what's going on around us. You feel me? We gotta be in the loop. And it's like you know, I'm gonna just feed that to you know my little fan base or whatever until I just keep growing it. Like I said, I just gotta be more consistent. But yeah, man, like. I'm building and trying to do this at the same time and that like like but it's lit though it's lit it's lit for real but I'm still doing you feel me like I still damn near do everything and that's not because that's not really because like I don't know I don't, I don't, I'm not really looking you feel me like I'm not really looking cuz it's like the work I be doing for real, like, listen, I done did back breaking work before. I know what back break work feel like, working in a warehouse, shit like that. I know what back breaking real, like, back breaking work really feel like. At the end of the day, you like totally exhausted. Like, this work that I do, you find me is like. This shit is cool. You find me this shit lit. And when it's time to break down, you feel me? When it's time to get paid, you feel me? It's like, I break down with me for real. And I mean, whatever outsource, you know, any type of outsourcing I need, you feel me? You know, I, yeah, man, take care. But really, like, I do 20 jobs and I get paid for all of those 20 jobs, you feel me? So it's like, I want to just share that because it's all it's all talents that I built up, expertise that I built up. So now it's not like I'm just making money just off of this one thing. It's like I'm I'm monetizing my talents. I could do this, I could do that, I could do this, I could do that, I could do that, I could do that. So why 
can I not get paid off of everything? You feel me? And that's what I'm doing, and it's cool with me, and it's you feel me, and it's I feel like it's the best way to go. And talking about just talking about content, you feel me? Like content currency, like we gotta like let me tighten up. Let me tighten up. You feel me? Once I start catching myself saying like, like a hundred times, you feel me? Like, see, like I did it again. Like I'm trying to get out. I'm trying to get out of that habit because I have a lot of words in my vocabulary, but I've been dumbing myself down for so long because you know, just my environment for real, like people don't be understanding what I be talking about. I really have to break it down to the simplest form. <laughs> I was about to say like again, and I said it, but you got to break it down to the simplest form for the people. You feel me? And that's what I'm talking to, though. Like, <laughs> I'm going to just rock. I'm talking to my people. These are the people who I'm, you know, that's family members. These are the people that's from my neighborhood, people that I grew up with. And... I went through that same education, that same educational system, and I see how dumb it is for real. You feel me? Like, it's dumb. So it's like, I understand why, you know, it's just a lack of education. And But it's really no more excuses when you got your phone, bro. You got Google. Like, I taught myself and I applied myself, you feel me? It's a lot. Some shit I did learn in school, went to school for, you feel me? Stuff like that on, on the technical side. But as far as what I'm doing, you feel me? It's like, yo, know, it's just applying yourself. Just working, practicing, applying yourself. For real. But I'm talking to the trenches. I'm talking for the trenches. I am the trenches. But I'm showing you how we can make money right in the trenches. Then we ain't got to be waiting for somebody to come change the trenches. Clean up the trenches. Make a narrative for the trenches. Like, we do that. Well, I'm going to just say I'm, a, I'm doing it because... Keep it real with you. It's a lot of people that's, that's, you know, doing their thing, doing their content thing, this, that, and the third. But it got it to make business sense. Because once it start making business sense, when it's, once it start generating money and there's an economy around you now, now you ain't got to really say too much. <laughs> you feel me? You ain't got to say too much to for somebody to, you know what I mean, to start believing in your vision. Like, I started, I started out my book bag with my laptop and my camera just grinding freelancing you feel me just getting content just shooting 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 then eventually the vision started coming clearer and clearer and the the goals and the vision got bigger and bigger and bigger once i started realizing the power of content the power of content, man, it's the new currency, but you got to understand, you got to leverage, you got to leverage your intellectual property, man, you got you to gotta leverage your culture, like, this is, the stuff that we doing is culture, because certain little habits or certain little styles of the way we talk, like, you you know, we're going to pass it down. We're going to pass it down to the next generation. Then they're going to start translating it a little different. Then they're going to be an opportunity to be older to set the trends and then pass it on down. You feel me? Like, that's how it go. It's culture. But if you're giving away the, the, the swag, you're giving away the style, you're giving away all that, free to the to the, the big corporations they turn around and charge us for what we came up with like yo yeah it, it ain't it ain't making sense but like i said there's no more excuses you got a phone you feel me like you you capturing content you just gotta know how to package it up you feel me and then yeah man like yeah 
You got to wisen up. You got to see what's going on. Content is currency. You can leverage that, man. You can leverage that, especially if you're from the trenches. The stories that come out the trenches be the rawest, the most thrilling, entertaining, and just everything, man. You're going to get everything out of the trenches. And who else live in the trenches? I mean, just start producing your own thing. You got the networks, the news stations, you find me. They, all their content come from the trenches. It come from the people at the trenches. They city in crisis. Like, they taking what's going on and just making content off of it. And they, you find me, they, it's, they monopolize they monopolize this, well, they think, well, you know, now that I'm around, you feel me, like, I mean, it's, it's a whole new, um, a whole new network in town, you feel me, and like, it's going up, we going up, but I just want to let y'all know, man, content is currency, it's people that's making good content, entertaining content, monetizing it able to make more money than they've been making at working a job now they live in a life that they want to live they're exploring life learning new things yeah man they're not stuck in a box it's all for content and a lot of these people is just using their phone bro oh they phone you feel me and everybody got a phone, so it's like, it's really no excuse. Like, if you, it's people that get on Instagram and make narratives, you feel me, of their life every day, bro. Like, y'all producing a show every day. Yeah, man, so why don't you just go ahead and really make a show, you feel me? Build your YouTube up, build your Instagram up, you feel me? You already got followers, people that love to see your drama and sh like that, you feel me? Like, just monetize it, bro. Just package it up. That's the, man, I'm giving you, I'm giving you the wave. I'm giving you the key, you feel me? Mm. So, yeah, though, that's, um, that's definitely something that I want to leave y'all with. Hope y'all tap into that, you feel me? But it's just been a lot going on, a lot moving around, a lot of business, a lot of, yeah, man. And I'm documenting everything. So, see, the podcast is more, you, I, I'm going to definitely start revolutionizing the podcast game because I want to give it more, more excitement. Even though podcasting is, is really mainly for listeners, most people just lit, you know, that's what podcasts is was really came about with people just listening, you know, they driving the word, stuff like that, whatever. They just listen to podcasts. But now, you know, visuals is you definitely everything, especially in our culture. We like to see what's going on, you feel me? So it's like I'ma just basically take the podcast and then just, you know, add our culture to it and just revolutionize it to it. So I'm taking y'all seeing where I'm starting at, you go back to episode one, you feel me? Like, you see where I'm starting at. I'm showing you, you feel me? Like, starting from nothing and just building up and building up and building up and building up. I got other shows on the network. Same thing. I got to I gotta build it and build it and build it. It's a process. So don't think none, nothing that I'm doing is happening overnight. It's a process, you feel me? You just got to be consistent with that process. Use your resources. Use your relationships. A lot of, a lot of my, you know, gains that I made was through just having relationships. So once I had the relationships and I got the product. So first of all, had a product. Have it built up, you feel me? Have your product. Have it nice and packaged up, you feel me? Had your product to go. Had a relationships. So now you're not just meeting people and don't have nothing to offer. You want to be able to be around people and mingle with these people and 
have a product, you feel me, have a brand, have something to offer. You can't be in them rooms. Like, you're not going to even be comfortable in them rooms if you ain't got nothing in, man. Like, you, who you, you, what you meeting people for? You feel me? Like, get your business right, get your product right, and get your, get your circle right. Get the people that you talk to on a regular basis right. If you're not talking about business and bettering what you're doing on a regular basis, you have to change that circle. You have to change the circle. Now, if you got that circle, monetize it then. If you got a circle of drama, you got a circle of comedians, you got a circle of just goofy shit going on around you all the time, well, monetize it. Monetize it. Get the content, monetize it, package it up, you feel me? And man, boom, you got your show. You want to be Krishan Rock, hey, you go, boom, you Krishan Rock, you feel me? You got Krishan Rock type life, whatever, you know what I mean? Boom, now you, you know what I mean? You producing, you own your own content. And just like she was able to move on up in them networks and all that, now you got the product to show these networks like, yeah, yeah, we lit over here too, you feel me? Like, come on. Simple, one, two, boom, check. If you waiting for a check every two weeks, you waiting for a check every week, that's the lifestyle you living like. It ain't gonna get you too far, you feel me? That's how far it's gonna get you, man. But if you you if you believe in yourself, build a product, it might take some time for you to build that product up, but by the time you cash out with on that product, you feel me? Like all that money you was chasing, that little bit of money, all that money that depreciated, you feel me, like you gonna be like, yeah, this was a good move. Now I got a bag to start investing in this, that, and the third, maybe this other venture. Now I can invest in this other venture, buy this. Now I got capital to do this, do that. All the stuff that broke people don't have, you feel me? So you, you literally have what you need to get what you want. If you want bread, you want paper, you want money, you have what you need to get the money. You got content. You got the culture. You got the lifestyle. You got that. Now, go get the money. All that waiting for a handout. All right, we got two weeks. Tax time. You ain't gotta wait. You ain't gotta wait. I'm telling you. <clears throat> and where you at network? Every day is payday, man. Every day is a deal day. Every day is cashing out. Every day is an opportunity to make some money. Because every day I get up, bro. Every day I'm maneuvering around the trenches. Every day I'm seeing some crazy shit. I'm experiencing some crazy shit. Every day I'm seeing what's going on around me. I'm experiencing it. I got the catalog. I got the back catalog. I just, you feel me? Like, bro, like, if I sit down here and just talk to you about the things I've been through from birth up to now, like, bro, you swear, it'd be like some on some Netflix, you'd be the, you'd be pick all type of movies I done lived, you feel me, like, so that's what I'm doing right now, I'm building that Netflix, I'm competing with the Netflix, I'm competing with the Hulus, I'm competing with all the streaming networks, I'm doing that, and I'm showing y'all how y'all can do it too. Yeah, man, I'm just showing you step by step by step by step. You feel me? You just got to tap in, you feel me? And I'm going to keep it real with you. Like, you got to invest in it. Like, people ain't going to just give you. They ain't going to just give you the game. Like, you got to invest 
and it, it might be money, it might be time. You, you gotta invest something to get that, you know what I mean, to the next level. You nobody just gonna hand it to you. You gotta invest that time. You might have to spend a hundred dollars to subscribe to this person, bop, 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 because he got the relationships with this, this circle, bop, bop, bop. So now, boom, you just subscribing for a hundred dollars, but now you got access to his whole circle, his whole network. So now you got a product coming in this door. So now you able to, once you get in this network, you got all these people and the odds of somebody saying, yo, Dang, I like what you're doing. I like what you got over there. I want, I want to invest in that. Or I want to, you feel me? I want to buy that. Now you can talk, start talking business. Now you can start talking numbers. You already got the product. You got the work. That's not the issue. That's like going, going to Colombia or Mexico or somewhere, and they running out of cocaine. Like that's not the issue. Like. The content is not the issue. It's about just packaging it up, branding it, you know, producing it. Like my man Keith say, like, you know, controlling the chaos, you feel me? Shout out Color Chaos. But before, yeah, man, like, before I wrap it up, I keep saying like, bro, I'll be catching myself because, you know, I'm in a podcast space. So, you know, I, I'm starting to listen to myself more. I must have been going out in New York too much or something. I don't remember saying like this much. Hey, listen, I want y'all to check out. I want y'all to check out this movie called The Founder. I know some of y'all might have heard of it. Some, some of y'all might not. It's called The Founder. It's like the, about the story of McDonald's, you know, the start of a McDonald's. But the, but the twist, like the twist in it is so crazy and so mind blowing. And to know that, like, that, that this is facts, this is, this what really happened. Like, <laughs> y'all need to check out the founder. And it's about, you know, the start of a McDonald's, how it started and how, you know, the people that, the people that literally, that started McDonald's, they ended up not being the ones profiting off of the McDonald's we have today. So check that out. And then it's another, it's another, matter of fact, this is a series on Netflix. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if, um, Hold on, I'm about to check right quick to see if it's still on Netflix. This joint called Wild Wild Country. Oh my gosh. Yo, it's going it's gonna open your eyes up to what's going on right here in this country. Yeah, it's on Netflix, y'all. Wild Wild Country. Of course, you know I'm gonna put it right on the screen. For y'all, but for the listeners, Wild Wild Country on Netflix, man. <laughs> yeah, it's about this dude from India. You feel me? Like he had like a he had a cult over there, and he sent his people over here to America just to buy buy a town just for him. And, and yo, it gets wild and it gets crazy, but it's real and it's really happened. Man, y'all gotta check that out. But it's gonna, it's just gonna show you the, you know, the really the, the capabilities we have. Not only as citizens of America, but just as human, I mean, just as, I mean, as human beings, bro. Like we could choose the life we want to live. We don't have to live like the way we was brought up. We don't have to stay in poverty. We don't have to keep thinking like that. We don't have to keep eating like that. Acting like that. We don't have to do that. We just got to elevate. You feel me? 
lips be dry as hell. I need a chat stick endorsement. Listen, I need all this, man. Listen, I'm gonna show y'all how to take this content, package it up, you feel me? And make make some money. But you know, like, I'm gonna I'm set up, I might just set up a little, um, I don't know, I'm gonna get it together because for the people that really want tap in, tap in. Because you know, I ain't gonna say too much of my business on here. But people that really want tap in, tap in, like, I got a lot of expertise. You feel me? Financial expertise, business expertise, branding and marketing, media, development, and just lifestyle for real. If I wanted to be a lifestyle coach, like, I think I could be a, definitely a lifestyle coach. It's really, man, it's really about how do you really imagine you living? How do you really want to live? If you could really picture that in your head and you could explain that to me or I mean draw it or something or just let me know how you really want to live in your head, then I'll show you how to get there. I'll help you make the roadmap to getting there. Yeah, man, but you had to tap in. But yeah, wild the founder and wild wild country, you feel me? Y'all check that out, man. Listen. Y'all go check that out. Y'all want to come back, just drop, jump in the comments, whatever, man. Just check that out. You feel me? Let's talk about it, man. Let's talk about it. <laughs> drink, drink facts. Crazy. But yeah, man. Y'all, look, battery about to die. So listen, I'm about to go ahead and wrap it up, man. Listen, man. I got to go shoot out, shoot out of town. You feel me? Do some business. Like, but listen, man. It's lit. You feel me? The weather. The weather jamming out this joint, is, man, is, man, look, turn up now. That is now or never. The turn up is now or never. Man, the Wolf of Charles Street.